Hello Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? This is your love reading from the 26th. Oh my gosh, can we just start the reading? Okay, all right, from the 26th, hello, until the, um, until the 3rd of March, okay, 26th of February until the 3rd of March. Spirit guides, really? The cards are jumping, can I just get into the, into the day? Like, it's been like this all morning, so I, it's okay, they're excited. Um, Apparently, I don't have to call them in because they are already here, but we will burn the herbs to welcome them. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. So let us have a look. Okay, guys. By the way, my name is Deborah, and this is my channel, Energy of Everything. And this is my spirit room. You're welcome in here. Thank you for clicking on the video. If, it, if you resonate, which is a general read, it may not resonate with everyone, but if it does, I'm very, very happy that it does. Um, geez. Mm, looking at your energy there. Let us go in and have a look. Let's get straight into the reading because I think that's what they want. They like get to the reading. I'm like, okay, uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. What is going on? You know, I knew something really strange is going to come out here. Five of Wands, Five of Cups. Oh gosh, what mirror are you looking into, Sagittarius? I feel like you guys mirror each other completely with these two fives here. Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like both of you do the same thing. When you're not sure, they're not sure. When you want it, they want it. When you're scared, they get scared. Sagittarius, this is a very interesting reading. I knew I was like something really strange is going to come up here. And we're going to look more into your energy. It's this one. No! Oh, come on, guys! <laughs> this is just crazy. Spirit guides, are you, are you joking with me? Five, three fives have just come out on this table. Now you tell me, okay, listen to me, Sagittarius. If you've been seeing repeating numbers lately, OMG, what is going on? If you keep seeing, like, the numbers double one double one or three 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 or hey, hey maybe five 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 I don't know but something massive is happening with you I want to get another card out please spirit you make me laugh I'm telling you please for um this five of cups you your person look at this you guys mirror each other what is going on <sighs> okay I was just saying if that's another five I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sage my room out I don't know okay Goodness gracious, they are so worried. They, you guys mirror each other. You mirror each other again and again and again. Oh gosh, can I live in a city, guys? Bear with me. And it's Friday. I'm recording this on a Friday. So yeah, people are going kind of crack crack. But anyway, let's get to this thing. Look at this. Five of Wands energy. Mm. So there's some kind of mirroring going on here. You guys talk to each other. Okay trying to clear up something not in a bad way this is not this is not swords this is not pentacles these are it's like it's got to do with i feel like you you too i feel like this is somebody that you know and i feel like you're trying to find your place in something your person's got the five of cups energy you got the five of ones energy so i do see that both of you i like that the five of ones came out and not the five of swords by the way and you know i'm just looking here's the five of ones again okay, what's going on you have oh my gosh this person you are that's fire energy here this is your energy because these are ones okay and your person Jeez, do you guys, you guys really do communicate a lot. And I feel like both of you are trying to make your way so that you can be together easier. Trying to be um, much more... It's really funny. I have to say this to you. It's got nothing to do with the cards. I feel like the two of you have been talking, obviously, because it's the five of wands. But for some reason, it, something just came from their side. And it's like they want you to trust them. Saggy. Whew, I hope this person is good to you. I hope this is your person and you, you have hope for this connection. Because this person is saying, trust me. Trust me. You know, and you're going to have to go there. You're going to have to go there. Because I feel like, I feel like there's a, like I was saying from the very beginning in this reading, it's like you mirror each other. When you worry, they worry. When you're happy, they're happy. When he or she worries, you worry. And even if you don't know, 
you guys could really have a very deep spiritual connection. You know, uh, wow, wow. <sighs> this is just crazy. Sometimes it's this reading, wow, it's really blowing me. Sometimes it's like you can wake up one morning and go, I, I don't think that I want this. I don't think this is good for me. I think I need to just pull out of this. Maybe there's a fear here. There's a something here that makes you feel scared, makes you feel, uh, it, it changes. This is a vibe I've got from the very beginning when I pulled these two cards out. It's like this energy changes like the weather. It's like now it's like this and then it's like that. And it's not from one of you. It's not like one person's doing it. It comes from both of you. When you do it, they feel it. Whoa, when you are, I haven't even gotten to the relationship cards yet. This is really interesting. Let me tell you something. I feel your person wants you to trust them for some reason. And on top of it, out comes the Five of Cups card. And they are actually aware. I've, there's a burden on them. There is a burden on them. I think heavier burden than you realize. It makes it hard for this person um, to give you, I feel, the, what you want. Oh, yeah, this is why there is this back and forth energy. This is why there's this back and forth energy. You're not getting exactly what you want. And they can own... Yeah, this car comes again. Okay, anyway. Listen to this music playing. It's banging my windows. Oh, lordy. So this person has got stuff to carry that they are carrying that is heavier than you know. I feel things are not sometimes going in the direction that they go. And it's got to do with... Um, it could be a business... It could be work-related. It could be anything here yeah, because you got the justice in the reverse energy. Um, somehow or the other, they are carrying more stress than you realize. If they may, or maybe they don't tell you. They are. They may even understand that they need to make a lot of sacrifices with that five of cups energy being there to actually be with you. And they may be making sacrifices that you don't know about, or they are willing to make those sacrifices. I sometimes feel there's this indecision on their side as well. They, they, you guys, what a relationship. <laughs> okay. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let us look. I want to look into the joint energy, this connection. Yeah, look at that. Page of pentacles in the reverse energy. It's going, they do, you both have a love for each other. You both see a future with each other. You both want to offer that. Yo, this is interesting. It's again, I don't know what's going on here. It could be younger again. Oh, and gee, is it the same energy? Um, here we go again. Okay, I'm not doing this one. Let's go here. So they watch you, by the way. And it's, no, it's two coming out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. They watch you. Yes, they do. Oh, goodness. Look at this. Yes, there's indecision on their side. It's not about the fact that they don't love you. Oh, you guys, really? It is like you guys marry each other and this is the chariot card comes out. The four of cups comes out. The knight of pentacles comes out. They can't give you what you want now. They cannot sacrifice. There is some, something here in their own energy that holds them back. And I feel like they feel so torn. Because they have cups for you. And there's cups again here. Four of cups again. They know that you are offering them this love. They are very much aware of it. But I feel like they can't take it right now. They can to an extent. But it's not fast. It's not something that can happen and be and lead to the next thing and the next thing and it becomes a, you know, the completed journey happens that you end up at the altar. Let's say, for instance... And it can't, it's something that is being halted. And it's real interesting that these two cards just fell out here. Oh, you guys, this is a, actually a beautiful connection. There is things that blocking the two of you in this connection. And I feel they feel sad. Look at this. Sometimes that they cannot give you what it is that you want. Because I feel you talk to them about it. And they really want to offer this for you to you. I even feel like sometimes they don't put it into words. And that creates this, by the way. They don't put it into words. Um, because they, I've got this energy, like they this kind of person that's like, they don't want to speak. And then it doesn't happen. 
or you, they speak and say, this is what I want to offer you, this is how I see, look, because there's a chariot here, oh yes, they do really, really want to offer you, they want to come towards you, they want this thing with you, but it's like they held back because of this justice card in the reverse energy. There is stuff happening with them that stops them from being able to come to you the way they want. You may be aware of it. Um, if you're not, I'm letting you know. When they look at your love, they look at the three cups that has fallen. And they feel that loss. That they cannot come towards you like this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. So Spirit God, give advice please give advice in this situation and there is there is a growth happening here by the way because you've got the four of cups you've got the five of cups there's a connection happening there is changes happening um this could this is an ongoing thing this love has been offered you guys oh it comes out oh yes this is heartbreak for you this is heartbreaking situation oh, three of, of swords I don't feel, you know, three of swords people go, yes, it can be related to, you know, a third party situation. Mm -mm, no, I don't think that this is what I'm looking at, honestly. This has got something to do with something else. This justice card, this is something else here. It holds them, holds them back from being able to actually take three cups and come to you. They, they left, you know, they have these two cups left. It's what they can hold for you now. They cannot yet pick up the three cups and have them all. You see, they still, you made the offer. They're still coming in. It's very interesting always that in the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles, look at the three cups of love here. You know, there's one there. And then here, the three cups of love have been fallen out on the ground and whatever, whatever was in there, it got spilt. And it's like... They look at that, and I think that it hurts them a lot. Look at this, through your swords energy. I think it's both of you, because I kept on saying you guys mirror each other. So this three of swords energy, it's both of your energy. This is not easy right now. But something is happening in this reading. Um, there's a three of swords, four of cups, and there's how many fives here. So you, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to do this on spirit, guys. I just want to get a little more in-depth look. Let's have a look at one card. I'm going to put it right in the center. I want to see the energy of this. Um, it's this one. The energy of this connection. Let's have a look. Oh, yo, it's progressing. We've got the five of wands energy. You know, the thing that you guys, what holds you together is this attraction that you have for each other. Yeah, this is like, imagine there is so much in this connection between you and this person. There is so much self-doubt that this is going to work. They have self-doubt that they will be able to handle what it is they need to handle so they can actually be with you. You have self-doubt, I think, on a daily basis. In one moment you this and in one moment you are that. It's like this and this. And in the six of, the, sorry, the six of wands over there, wow, that is... That is crazy. You know, there's, un I don't know, I even know what to say. It's like, I can't deny what I'm looking at, guys. It's like, you guys have got a different connection. I have to tell you, this is very strange. Because the connection between you and this person, there's some kind of soul bond here. I have to tell you. It's something that you guys, like, you, like I said, you're mirroring each other. So you, you've got to try to work on healing each other. Because if you heal yourself, you're going to be able to heal their situation. If you heal your situations, which I don't feel you have very much serious situations, you're going to heal their situation. And vice versa, by the way. Because this is an, a, quite a good energy to come out. You know, it's like I believe the two of you recognize each other on some kind of soul level. And this is what creates this chariot. This is what creates this, this instant connection like this. But right now, there is going to be, it's going to be hard to work through this, this, this vibe. But, you know, it's also funny. I asked Spirit Guide, you're reading, wow. I asked them to give me, like in this card, um, just let me know what is going on here. And it's like they are acknowledging the soul bond between the two of you. It's like they're saying, when you met this person, you recognize something in them, unexplainable, and it could have been what, why there's so many wands connected here. 
also they have recognized the same thing in you and the spirit guides are actually acknowledging that yes we are aware of this connection between you and this person oh this is a quite a reading this is quite a reading guys um i still feel like this is going to be going on for quite some time it's not going to be something that's resolved now which is causing pain right now because this is an ongoing thing i haven't got one seven one eight one nine i've got a chariot that comes out which means this for me it's an ongoing thing i don't think you and this person are done I think you've still got a lot of things to work through before it can get to completion and leave this energy and move to the next one. I don't think the two of you like are done with each other, that's for sure. Not with the chariot being there. So this is a process. This is something that's going to be ongoing. It's not going to be easy. I can tell you with this three of swords being in this position. But it's like, it's there, it's happening. And I almost feel like you guys are tied to each other like a rope. And it's, it's like you can't, escape this situation so you just kind of got to got to go with it you know with the chariot being there so we're going to see how this unfolds this is a very interesting reading i feel like it's the reading is not finished and i can't finish it yet that's the vibe i'm getting and that's the feeling i'm getting looking at the cards i feel like it's an unspoken ending for some reason and i don't know why and i, I like i want to try to draw another one and it's like nope we are aware of everything. Six of Wands, that's the spirit guides. They are aware of everything that's happening here. They see. So that's what they want to say. And they don't want to say anymore. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go with this. Because let's see. Let's see if the same energy comes through next week. And we can look a little bit more in depth. But at this moment, it's almost like they want you to have faith in the unknown. It's very strange. Uh, it's very weird. For me, guys, <laughs> I have to say this was this was a reading, very interesting reading. If this makes sense to you and it resonates, please let me know. Wow, spirit guides, you are being so mysterious today. But that's what came out in the cards, guys. Goodness gracious, I'm going to worry about this reading, like literally, because usually I have like a definitive answer. I know all that's going on. This one is just going. The mystery is deeper than you understand. Trust us. Spirit guides are saying, and I'm going with it. You have to trust sometimes that the universe is going to unfold in your favor. Wow. Thank you, Sagi, for watching. Be patient. OMG. <laughs> Sending you love. Bye.